I'm Molly. I'm the head of people analytics at X, the Moonshot Factory. I absolutely love my job. I, I have such a deep appreciation for for data and what it can do and, and what type of insight we can derive from it. And I'm also highly sensitive to the fact that you know, the data I work with are not just numbers on a page. You know, they're reflecting the experiences that people are having. I think really good analysts will find patterns in data, but great analysts will find stories. And so in a lot of cases, my job is to help our stakeholders and our leaders tell stories about what types of experiences employees are having to help inform decisions about what changes we could make to better improve those experiences. So in my experience, probably the, the most significant mistakes that I've made have been around not understanding the reason why I'm conducting an analysis or not asking enough questions to really get at the root cause that is inspiring, the need for an analysis to begin with. One time I was asked to take over a very large organization-wide analysis that was basically designed to show how the organization has changed from the beginning of the year to the end. The analysis had been requested by our executive team, and in stepping into this role for the first time, I not only wanted to show them the entirety of the story I could tell, but if I'm being totally honest, I also really wanted to show off some of my skills and abilities and impress them with all the really cool and sophisticated analyses I could do with all of this mountain of data. So I took the request to be, tell us everything about everything, when in fact, if I had taken my time and really asked the right questions, what I would have learned is that my executive leaders really just wanted to understand one pocket of the organization that had experienced much higher than average change over the course of the year. And so because I sort of mismanaged the scope of this analysis, it took me months to do. And at the end of my presentation, they just sat there. And I kind of waited with bated breath for them to say like, this was the most incredible thing we've ever seen. And they didn't. They were, don't get me wrong, very grateful for all of the work and, and all of the, the rigor that I had invested. But one particular executive asked the most critical question that he should have asked, which was, so what do we do as a result of all this data? And I couldn't answer that question. You know, what I realized is that if I had taken my time at the forefront and really worked with that executive directly to understand why this team had experienced so much change, why we wanted to understand why all of this change had happened and what we could do about it in the future, I could have conducted a much more targeted analysis. I could have given those executives exactly the insight they needed, and I could have better positioned myself as a strategic partner rather than as an analyst who is feeding them data. Congratulations on finishing this video from the Google Data Analytics Certificate. Access the full experience, including job search help, and start to earn the official certificate by clicking the icon or the link in the description. Watch the next video in the course by clicking here, and subscribe to our channel for more from upcoming Google Career Certificates.